Hey everyone, have you ever wondered how those giant planes fly in the sky? I know I have. The secret lies in these amazing things called jet engines. And today, we're going to take one apart and find out how it works. Imagine air taking a trip through a jet engine. We're talking sucking, squeezing, and explosions, all happening thousands of times a minute. Get ready for a wild ride as we explore the amazing world of jet engines. From intake to exhaust, we'll see how a gulp of air turns into powerful thrust that pushes a plane into the sky. Stay tuned! First, the engine needs a lot of air. That's where the giant fan at the front comes in, acting like a giant vacuum cleaner, sucking huge amounts of air into the engine. Even when the plane is in the air and flying super fast, air is still rushing into the engine. Air is the key ingredient the engine needs to do its job. No air, no thrust. Once the air is inside, it goes to the compressor, a set of spinning blades that acts like a super powerful bicycle pump. This compressor squishes the air, making it hotter and increasing its pressure. Why do we do that? Well, compressed air burns fuel better just like a pressurized spray bottle releases liquid faster. Time to ignite. Next, fuel is sprayed into the compressed air inside the combustion chamber, a metal can with holes. Spark plugs ignite the mixture, causing a controlled explosion, an explosion that creates super hot expanding gases like a fiery tornado. Burning the fuel adds a ton of energy to the air, turning it into a powerful jet of gas. This is the real power behind the jet engine. The turbine, spin to win. The hot gas blasts into the turbine, another set of blades like a spinning wheel. The gas spins the turbine incredibly fast. Now the cool part is that the turbine is connected to both the compressor and the fan by a metal shaft. So the spinning turbine keeps the compressor and fan going, the engine powers itself. The exhaust, blast off. Finally, the leftover hot gas shoots out of the engine through the exhaust nozzle at the back. The faster the gas comes out, the more thrust is created. This is Newton's third law in action. The engine pushes the gas backward and the plane gets pushed forward. Action and reaction. The jet engine, an amazing machine. And that's it. That's how a jet engine works. It's a continuous cycle that never ends as long as there's fuel. Air goes in, gets squeezed and burned, the turbine spins, and the gas blasts out, pushing the plane forward. There are different types of jet engines. In passenger planes, most of the air goes around the engine's core through a side channel. This makes the engine quieter and more fuel efficient. In fighter jets, extra fuel is burned in the exhaust for a huge burst of fire, making the plane go incredibly fast. Next time you see a plane flying, remember that the jet engine is sucking in tons of air every second, squeezing it to 1 20th of its original size, burning fuel at temperatures hotter than volcanoes, spinning turbines at over 10,000 rotations per minute, and blasting out gas faster than the speed of sound. It's a truly amazing process.